Hello everyone, welcome back to Byte Vigor channel. In software development, sometimes we need to add new functionality to objects dynamically without altering their structure. The decorator design pattern provides a flexible solution that allows us to extend an object's functionality at runtime without modifying the original code. Imagine you are at a coffee shop ordering a coffee. You can customize your coffee with additions like cream, syrup, or chocolate. These additions do not change the basic structure of the coffee, but enhance its features and flavor. The decorator pattern is like adding these toppings to your coffee, dynamically adding new functionalities to an object. Simply put, the decorator pattern allows us to add new functionality to an object dynamically without modifying the original code. This is achieved by creating decorator classes that wrap the original object and add new behaviors or attributes. According to Wikipedia, in object-oriented programming, the decorator pattern is a structural design pattern that allows behavior to be added to individual objects, either statically or dynamically, without affecting the behavior of other objects from the same class. The decorator pattern is particularly useful for adhering to the single responsibility principle, as it allows functionality to be divided between classes with unique areas of concern. To better understand this pattern, let's take a simple example of a coffee class in Java. Suppose we have different types of coffee, like simple coffee, espresso, and various decorations, like milk, syrup, that can be added to them. First, we define a coffee interface, coffee, with two methods. One to get the cost and another to get the description. Next, we define concrete coffee classes such as simple coffee and espresso, which implement the coffee interface. Then, we define an abstract decorator class, coffee decorator, that implements the coffee interface and contains a reference to a coffee object. Next, we define concrete decorator classes, such as milk decorator and sugar decorator, which extend the coffee decorator abstract class and add new functionalities to the existing coffee. For example, after applying the milk decorator, the cost of the decorated coffee will increase by two and the description will include comma milk. Now we can create coffee objects and dynamically add decorations to them. In the code here, we first create a simple coffee, then add milk and sugar decorations, and output the description and cost after each decoration. As you can see, each time a decoration is added, the coffee's description and cost are dynamically updated without modifying the original coffee class. This demonstrates the power of the decorator pattern which allows us to flexibly add various functionalities to objects without changing their underlying structure. When should we use the decorator design pattern? When you want to dynamically add new functionality to an object without modifying the original code, you can use the decorator pattern. The decorator pattern helps you flexibly and extensibly combine various functionalities for objects. Finally, let's summarize the content of this lesson. The decorator design pattern allows us to dynamically add new functionality to an object without modifying the original code. By creating decorator classes, we can flexibly enhance an object's features at runtime. In actual development, the decorator pattern can help us create more flexible and extensible systems, improving code maintainability. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to ByteVigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content. See you in the next video.